and I want to talk to you about something that I know is really important. Uh, many of us don't realize it, but it is what it is. And you know, I believe in simplicity and I believe in clarity. My thing is you got to be open, honest, clear, and direct if you want to help someone. And honestly, if you want to help yourself, you should also be clear, open, honest, clear, and direct as well. But the thing I want to talk to you about is having access. And I'm going to try to deal with something that happened most recently negatively and make the point and start teaching you a couple of just really two or three tips that you can take with you and maybe even share them with someone else that can benefit. Now, it's always important to understand discernment, intuition, you know, the reason why we follow our first train of thought. Now, when Kobe Bryant's accident, when the, uh, well, not accident, but fatality uh, in the helicopter crash, it happened, perhaps, just perhaps, if he had followed the fact that the first pilot was not able or capable or comfortable flying in inclement weather, maybe he could have taken that as a sign that maybe he should not fly today. I know he had people with him and I know he wanted to do whatever the thing he was. And I know um, it was important to him, I get that. But nothing is more important than your life when it comes to taking care of business, when it comes to doing things right, or when it comes to safety. Now, many of us, myself included, we don't always think that way. If we're trying to get something done and the first thing doesn't work, we'll find a way of getting it done. And I understand that. Second pilot said he can do it. He's got experience in flying in inclement weather. So that was a good opportunity for him. My overall point is that you should follow your first train of thought. And I know it can be really difficult to know how important it is to follow your first train of thought at a you know, the drop of a hat uh, at certain times. I, I get that. But it obviously can be the difference between life and death. And in Kobe Bryant's uh, situation, unfortunately, it was. So access. Many of us want it, and we don't get a chance to get it. But you should understand with the example I just spoke to or the scenario I just spoke to, sometimes we have access, but we should not use it. See, so many people are, are fighting and striving to get it. I get that. But for those who have it, are you taking advantage of yourself? Are you taking advantage of it? You're not thinking anything of it? What does it cost you? What can it cost you? So access, you should not always use it just because you have it. Number one, write that down. So you have to determine when is it that I have something and I shouldn't use it. It's like money, right? You've got a lot of money, but because you got a lot of money, does that mean you need to spend it? Does that mean you need to invest it? Does that mean you need to invest or spend at that time? You have to discern. You have to discern when you should and when you shouldn't. Okay, so the next thing. On the flip side, for those who need access and you can't get it, and let me make this clear. If you got access and you're able to do all the things you want and your life is splendid, obviously this is not for you. This talk, this training is not for you. So number two, if you need access and you don't have it, you have to understand that access is not always granted just because you want it, just because you need it. You have to position yourself to be able to get it. And honestly, if you cannot get access, you can't get into the club, you uh, don't have the investment, one of the best ways of gaining access is this, this, these. Watching, listening, observing. Observing how a thing is done can give you access also. How so? Because when you learn, you can earn. When you learn, you can earn. So number two, observe, because when you 
learn, you can earn. Now, a lot of times we don't get access because of three things. We don't ask, we don't seek, and we don't knock. There's a phrase that comes from a book that says, if you ask, you shall receive. If you seek, you shall find it. And if you knock, it shall be open to you. Many times people don't receive things because they do not ask, seek, or knock. You know, it's just like a sale. They say, ask for the sale. You tell them how good the product is, how good the service is. You're telling them all the things about why it's wonderful, but you're not asking them for the actual sale. You're not asking them for their payment. So number three, ask, seek, and knock. That's all in one. You must ask for access. Um, I took some notes on sharing some of these tips from the notes that I I've taken from you, taken for you. N now, what happens when you do get a chance to get access, you must, I repeat, you must take advantage of it. You must take full advantage. You cannot afford to take it for granted. When you take it for granted, you're making a huge mistake. So again, you must take full advantage. You see, a lot of times when people have something, they don't use it. It's like food. Think about it, right? You go shopping. You put your ice cream in the freezer. You got some eggs in there. You got bread. Bread's in the cupboard. And you got plenty of it because you like whole wheat for certain things. You like um, hero bread for your cold cut sandwiches. And sometimes, you know, you're just not in the mood for, you know, a cold cut sandwich. You forgot to get a bologna or you forgot to get the cheese or you don't have mayo or you're just not in the mood for it. So you have peanut butter and jelly or you have whatever you have. Meanwhile, the bread that's in there, it spoils because you did not take advantage of it. You did not use it when you had it. You didn't use it when it was available. You didn't use it while it was in good shape, while it was still fresh, while it had not spoiled. So sometimes people don't take advantage and they still miss out on having access. That is very, very key. Next tip. You want to be around the right people. Sometimes when you're around the right people, you gain access. You gain access to information. You gain access to the, to the nuances that will teach you a thing. It depends on what you're trying to learn. I don't care if it's mechanics, auto mechanics, if it's writing, if it's speaking, if it's carpentry, electronics, mathematics, it doesn't matter. Art, when you're around the right people, you get the information almost by default. So you can't hang out with people who are not going anywhere. You have to hang out with people that have an agenda. They are going somewhere. And then when you do, you get access because you learn by default how to do whatever it is that you're after. Now, another thing that may seem kind of crazy or like a contradiction Many times people, they go to conferences or they go to um, retreats. They do these different things. They invest in this and that, but they still don't get access. They get told why it's important. They get told, you know, um, to do a certain thing, but they don't always understand the mechanics of a thing. They don't understand, like, the real deal crumbs nuggets, golden nuggets of how something is done. Now, the only time or the only way you literally will get all of your questions answered and all of the information you need is when you, when you invest at the highest level. It could be at the highest level for a conference. It could be at the highest level for a mastermind. It could be at the highest level for a coaching program, group or otherwise. Usually when you invest at the highest level, that's when you are positioned to get all of the information and you must ask the questions that are needed or necessary 
for you, even if you think it's dumb. And if you, uh, the person that's teaching you is surprised that you don't know the answer, does it matter? They don't have to, it doesn't matter that they're surprised. The point is you deserve the answer. You made the investment. What's the answer, right? I need milk in my cereal. Where's the milk? Got milk? No, I'm asking you so I can get milk, right? And when you invest at the highest level, you should get access. And most of the times, if you invest at the highest level and you do a one-on-one -on -one coaching, that's when you get the answers to what you need. If you do not invest at the highest level, if you just want to play a little um, small, make a small investment, don't expect to get all the information you need because the experts don't want to take their time or their resources providing them to you when you're not willing to give your all to get the all that they have studied years and years for, they have fallen in their face for, and you want to give them $20 and think you should learn everything. It does not and will not work that way. If you want access, you have to be worthy of it. You have to seek it and look for it. You got to be around the right people. You've got to do all the things that I've said and maybe even more in this training in order to get your access. Now, once again, you know, I believe in simplicity. I believe in clarity. So with that being said, I am not going to belabor the moment. I am not going to go on and on and on. I'm going to sign out because I always say you've got to radiate the brain and change the game. <laughs>